Powerful galactic beings, welcome back to another video. You ever stop, stare into the mirror, and wonder why you're still here? Why you're still dragging your battered soul through another day, another fight? It's like carrying a mountain on your back, every step heavier than the last. You ask yourself, what's the point? What keeps you breathing, moving, surviving, when the weight of the world seems intent on breaking you? They look at you and think they see strength. They see someone who stands tall, unshaken, a warrior in every sense of the word. But they don't see the truth. They don't see the storm inside, the scars carved into your soul, the nightmares that haunt your every moment, the demons clawing at you from within. They judge what they can see, but they'll never understand what it took for you to get here. They won't know about the nights you spent staring into the void, your chest tight with despair, the air so thick with silence it felt like you were suffocating. They won't know about the times you screamed into the darkness, desperate for an answer, for something, anything, to tell you it's worth it. But the darkness never answers. It just stares back, cold and empty, and you're left to find your own reason to keep going. You don't keep fighting for them. You don't do it for their fake smiles or hollow words of encouragement that evaporate the moment you're out of sight. No. You do it for yourself. For the shattered fragments of who you used to be, for the parts of you that still hope, hope for a reason to keep putting one foot in front of the other. Even if you can't see it, even if it's buried under layers of pain, that hope is there, stubborn and unyielding. Every day feels like a war. You wake up already battered, like you've been in the ring all night, and life doesn't care. It throws its punches hard, fast, and mercilessly, leaving you gasping for air. You fight to keep your head above water, to keep moving forward when everything inside you screams to give up. But you don't. Because there's no one else coming to save you. No one to pull you out of the mud when you've fallen face first into it. It's on you. Always has been. Always will be. People tell you to keep fighting, as if that's some profound advice, as if you've never thought of it yourself. They don't know the half of it. Every breath you take is a battle. Every step forward is a victory they'll never see or understand. Life hits hard, and it doesn't stop just because you're struggling. It knocks you down, kicks you when you're already on the ground, and dares you to get back up. And you do. Not because you want to. Not because it's noble or brave. But because there's no other option. Because the only thing you've got left to hold onto in this brutal world is your own will to keep going. The pain is constant. It's like an old friend, always there, always reminding you of your limits. But instead of breaking you, it shapes you. You learn to carry it, to wear it like armor. Every cut, every bruise, every tear shed in the silence of the night becomes another piece of the fortress you've built around yourself. It's not weakness, it's power. It's resilience forged in fire, a weapon no one can take from you. When they look at you, they see strength. They see the warrior, the fighter who refuses to fall. But they'll never see the cracks in your foundation, the pieces of you held together with nothing but grit and determination. They don't see the nights you spent on your knees, broken and bleeding, dragging yourself through the wreckage of your own life because no one else would. They don't see the silent battles, the ones fought in the dead of night, when the world is asleep and you're left alone with your thoughts. That's fine, though. Let them believe what they want. Let them see the image, the facade, because they wouldn't understand the truth even if you showed them. This world doesn't care about your pain. It doesn't care about your struggles. All it cares about is whether or not you can stand back up after every hit. And you do. You rise, again and again, because survival isn't about comfort. It's about persistence. It's about dragging yourself through the worst of it, even when your body and mind are screaming for relief. You know tomorrow will hurt just as much as today, but you get up anyway. That's what sets you apart. That's what makes you dangerous. You've been through hell, and you're still standing. Still breathing. They'll never understand the fire that burns in you, but they'll feel it. They'll see it in your eyes, the rage, the determination, the unyielding will to keep moving forward no matter what. And that's enough. You don't need their understanding. All you need is the strength to face another day, another fight, and to keep proving, over and over again, that you're not done yet. 
They'll see the strength in your eyes, the determination in your steps, and they'll think you made it out unscathed. They won't know about the long nights where tears fell silently onto your pillow, when the weight of your struggles pressed so hard against your chest that it felt like the air itself was a luxury. They won't hear the screams that echo inside you, trapped behind clenched teeth and a mask of composure. They won't feel the deep ache that lives in your heart, an ache that pulses with every beat, reminding you of every scar you carry. And that's fine. It's not for them. You don't cry to be seen or heard. You cry for yourself. You cry for the pieces of you that refuse to let go. For the parts still gripping tightly to hope, even when it feels like hope is slipping through your fingers like grains of sand. You cry for the child you once were, the one who didn't deserve the pain, who should have known safety and love instead of hurt. You cry for the warrior you've become, bruised, battered, bleeding, but still standing. And somehow, even when it feels like the fight is endless, you keep moving forward. Because that's all you've ever known. Survival is ingrained in you, like the marrow in your bones. Do you ever wonder why it's always you? Why it feels like the universe decided to make you its testing ground, its personal punching bag? Like it scanned the crowd, found your face, and marked you as the one who'd carry the heaviest loads. No matter how far you run or how strong you grow, it feels like the challenges never stop coming, like the shadows never stop following. Yeah, I wonder that too. Maybe it's because we're built differently. Maybe it's because we're the ones who can bear it, even when it feels unbearable. But damn, it gets heavy, doesn't it? It's like carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders while trudging through quicksand. No matter how much you push, how much you grind, the struggle never seems to ease. Yet, here's the brutal truth, no one's coming to save you. No helping hand will reach down to pull you out of this. And maybe, just maybe, that's what makes you so dangerous. You've learned to be your own savior. You've taught yourself how to claw your way out of the deepest pits, even when the flames of despair are nipping at your heels. They think strength is about never falling, about standing tall no matter the storm. But they're wrong. Real strength is forged in the fires of failure and pain. It's found in the ones who've been shattered into a thousand pieces but still manage to glue themselves back together. Real strength is in the fighters who've tasted the bitterness of despair yet refuse to let it consume them. It's not about standing tall when life is easy, it's about rising when life beats you to your knees, blood dripping from your lips, and daring to fight again. It's not a choice for us, is it? This resilience, this determination, it's survival. It's the only way we know how to live. You don't fight because it's easy or because you think victory is guaranteed. You fight because the alternative is unthinkable. Because giving up isn't in your DNA. Even when the pain seems unending, when the battles pile up and every step feels like walking through fire, you keep going. Not because you want to, but because you have to. And yes, there are days when you question it all. When the weight of the struggle presses so heavily on your chest that you wonder if it's worth it. If all the heartbreak, all the exhaustion, all the scars are leading anywhere. But deep down, you know you don't have a choice. You didn't ask for this life, for this battle, for these endless wars. But here you are, right in the middle of it, with no choice but to keep moving. People think strength is a privilege, a badge you wear by choice. But for us, it's a necessity. It's waking up every day and deciding to fight through the pain, to face the darkness that waits at the edge of every thought. That darkness, it's always there, isn't it? Lurking, whispering, tempting. It calls to you, urging you to let go, to give in, to surrender to the abyss. But you don't. Not because the thought doesn't cross your mind, but because you know that once you let it in, it'll take root, and it won't let you go. So, every day, you fight it. You battle the shadows, the whispers, the weight. You face it with trembling hands and a steady heart, knowing that the fight itself is proof of your strength. The world doesn't see it, doesn't understand it. But you do. You know what it takes to keep going, to keep breathing, to keep living. And that, more than anything else, is what makes you unbreakable. Fighting darkness isn't just about battling some external force, it's about standing face to face with the shadows that live within you. And perhaps the hardest part of all is coming to terms with the fact that the darkness you're fighting is a piece of yourself, the part that feels worn, fractured, and all too ready to surrender. 
but you don't surrender. You can't. Because something inside you knows you've already come too far. The road behind you is littered with obstacles you've overcome, battles you've won, and scars that tell a story of survival. Letting it all end here would mean those struggles were for nothing, and that's a weight you refuse to carry. It's a kind of pain that words fail to capture fully, a pain that isn't just felt but endured. It's the silent, gnawing ache that doesn't go away, the type that chews at your soul piece by piece. Imagine walking through life as if an invisible wound were carved deep into your being, a wound no one else can see, let alone understand. You learn to laugh when you need to, to smile on cue, to paint a picture of normalcy that hides the chaos inside. But when the laughter fades and the mask comes off, you're left with the raw, unrelenting truth, you're screaming on the inside. A silent scream that no one hears. It's not that you wouldn't welcome help. It's not even about being too proud to ask. It's the quiet understanding that some things can't be fixed by others. There's no magical solution, no comforting words that can mend the broken pieces within you. So, you do the only thing you know how to do, you carry it. You shoulder the weight of it every single day, knowing full well that this fight is yours alone. And it's not a fight you choose. Who would choose this? It's a battle you wage because you have no other choice. Survival becomes instinctive, even when the effort feels like it might crush you. The hardest part isn't even the pain itself. It's not the isolation or the relentless grind of facing the same struggles day in and day out. The hardest part is the loneliness of it all. The crushing realization that no one truly understands the depth of what you're going through. You look around, and it feels like everyone else is living in a world you'll never belong to. They seem untouched, unbothered, moving through life with a lightness you can only dream of. Maybe that's true. Maybe some people are spared the weight you carry. And maybe, just maybe, people like you were built differently, destined to bear burdens so others don't have to. But that doesn't make it any easier. It doesn't erase the loneliness. It doesn't fill the void left by the need to be understood. You want to open up. You want to let someone see the parts of you that you keep locked away. But how do you explain the kind of darkness that doesn't just linger but thrives inside you? How do you invite someone into a space that even you fear to explore? So, you don't. You keep it locked up, hidden behind walls you've built so high even you struggle to see over them. And to the outside world, you seem strong. You seem put together, like someone who can't be shaken. They see resilience, they see unbreakable. But they don't see the cracks. They don't see the nights when you collapse under the weight of it all, begging for relief, for an end to the constant ache. They don't know about the times you've stared into the abyss, wondering if it's worth it to keep going. And maybe it's better that way. Maybe it's a blessing that they don't see, because what could they do if they did? This is your fight. Your burden. Your personal hell to endure. And that's what makes you stronger than most. Not the absence of struggle, but the sheer will to endure it. To wake up every day and face it again. To fight through the pain and darkness, even when it feels like it's swallowing you whole. That kind of strength doesn't come easy, and it doesn't come without a cost. But it's yours. It's who you are. They'll never understand what it takes just to get through the day, the courage it takes to face the same pain, the same challenges, over and over again. But you do it. Not because you want to, but because giving up isn't an option. Not for you. Not for people like you who've endured too much to let it all go to waste. One day, they might look at you in awe, wondering how you made it through when most would have crumbled. They'll never truly know the depth of your struggle, the nights you fought battles in silence, the times you chose to survive when it would have been easier to let go. And that's okay. Because you don't need them to know. You don't need their validation. You've proven to yourself, time and time again, that you're stronger than the darkness. That you're capable of enduring what others can't even imagine. And that makes you extraordinary. You don't have to understand everything because you're not surviving for anyone else. You're here, fighting, for yourself, for that stubborn, indomitable piece of your soul that refuses to be extinguished. That part of you that clings to hope even in the deepest abyss. That's your anchor. That's your reason. And that alone is enough. You are enough. 
No matter how excruciating the pain becomes, no matter how crushing the weight of the world feels, you press on. Because that's what warriors do. And now, you stand at the crossroads, asking yourself, what comes next? The answer is simple, yet monumental. Next is whatever you create. Next is stepping forward when every force in the universe seems to be pushing you back. It's choosing to rise when gravity, doubt, and fear try to hold you down. It's telling the ache deep within you to quiet down because there's still work to be done. It's not just about enduring, it's about transforming. It's taking every ounce of pain, every spark of anger, and every flicker of frustration and forging them into a relentless fire. This fire isn't just for survival, it's fuel for something greater. The world isn't going to soften its blows, and it certainly isn't going to pause just because you're weary. The punches will keep coming, the challenges will keep piling up, and the road will always be uneven. But you, you're not here to crumble. You're here to rise, again and again. You're not merely surviving, you're conquering. Every time you stagger to your feet, bloodied but unbowed, you're proving that you are more than just a fighter. You are the kind of person who refuses to stay down, who spits in the face of defeat, who grits their teeth and carries on even when the odds are stacked against them. This isn't about applause or accolades. This isn't for the recognition of the world. No, you do this because you must. Because there's a quiet, insistent voice inside you that whispers, keep going. Deep down, you know there's more to this existence than suffering. There's something out there, something that makes all the pain, all the struggle, worthwhile. Maybe it's hope, glimmering faintly on the horizon. Maybe it's redemption, waiting to be seized. Or maybe it's simply the raw, undeniable will to live, to persevere, to defy the darkness that seeks to consume you. You push forward, not because it's easy, but because you've discovered the truth, you're capable of enduring far more than you ever imagined. And as you continue to rise, to fight, to forge ahead, the world will begin to notice. They'll see not just a fighter, not just a warrior, but something more. They'll see someone who turned every scar, every wound, and every trial into a testament of strength. They'll see someone who defied the odds and carved a path through the impossible. One day, they won't just see you as a survivor, they'll see you as a legend. Someone who didn't just endure life's storms but harnessed their fury to fuel a journey that could inspire others. Your story isn't just about surviving, it's about transforming. It's about becoming more than you ever thought possible. It's about proving that even in the face of the harshest trials, there's something unbreakable within you. That is your power. That is your legacy. I hope this video was really helpful. See you in the next video. Peace, love and life.